Construction modeling, guys, it's all about putting details to our project or our model to be able to communicate our project efficiently. And today we're going to look at uh, hidden gutter details to our roof. This is commonly used or commonly seen in projects like industrial or warehouses where you are having an effect of seamless roof to your cladding. Welcome guys to our channel. Um, without any further ado, let's jump straight to it. This is the project that I'm going to use. I already created something uh, of that nature, which is the gutter here. Um, if you look at this project, let's just take a look or a breakdown of this project, how it's being assembled. It's very, very quite interesting. What I've done here, guys, is the the system that I've used to use complex profile for majority of the the elements. Why? Because um, complex profile makes your project um, looks intact and uh, um, it's gonna be clean and uh, it will be easy for you to communicate rather using um, series of objects to assemble this we're having a portal frame here which is this it, it comes with uh, in two parts there's a half of it and then this side is a mirror copy of it and then we have um, we have another component here which is the pellets pellets that um, are assembled to accommodate the gutter here as you can see and then we have the membrane for the for the sheeting and then ultimately it's our sheeting that is made up of an object uh, a profiled object if you go to settings it's the project that is comes with the default template or default library architect which is profile sheet um, 24 this is quite an interesting um, object you can make it in different angles it can be 90 degrees or any angle that you want hence i see it as a super object in this project um if you check for example let's select one of this portal frame and then right click go to edit select composite profile um, the profile window pop out um, okay let's just do it this is just two d lines or if you select line tool and then control a to select all the lines then delete so that you remain with only fields because profiles or complex profiles works with fields this is the field that represents a metal steel uh, material so it comes with its own settings you can choose line type and then you can choose the contour pen of that uh, line yeah as you can see another interesting part is this junction the joints these members are going to be joined normally they uh, were using bolts and nuts to connect this or welding i've seen some um, doing welding so well, in mo most cases we are having something like this uh, let me just do this magic one that and then i'll uh, that one go all the way something like that i hope it's perfect and then now sorry make sure it's cleanly done yeah and then we do side or we just take the copy something like that oh sorry that that's normal how you do it that's normal how you, you connect this two when they connect or the joint it's normally have this um plates where the bolt and nut can go through this just like that I don't know you get what I'm trying to do here if you save this it will, it will be updated so I've left this joint because 
if you I've left this joint because to have an effect of this connection or this joints and then if you if you go back to the profile and then let's close the joints then save go back to the 3d window it disappears the joint will dis disappears and then the communication will be uh, not efficient if it's that case so what I've done I've just left a gap or oh, yeah a gap of one millimeter one millimeter is, is fine depending on what you want and then save check on the 3d you see here we, we made changes here and then it's not um, updated on this one so what we might have to do is to stretch this backward do the same with this one and then let's change this to something different in terms of material let's use maybe maybe structural steel with structural steel or steel frame let's save and then let's see how it will appear perfect now you have a smooth or very well represented um, connections and then you can have them all to your joints i would love to have this across all my my connections do this oh what happened to you make sure guys you pay attention to small 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 details this wasn't even really done find a way guys how to do this efficiently but that's how is supposed to be represented we can also have it on this movie to there so this needs to be rotated a bit and then clean up the side that way Where are they connected? I'll make sure I'll maintain the same uh, the same with I'll do this just to have a guideline there and then move it down there so that you can you can have it there and then do the same here to find a midpoint for our mirror I'm going to hit control shift M on the keyboard then hit mirror make sure it's then safe Should be updated if it's not updated it's because let's stretch this backwards to the positions just like this clean up clean up this save check on the 3d it's updated yeah um i guess you get what i'm trying to achieve here the level of detail is also important depending on the project state so for the sake of this demonstration let me just leave it here um, what I'm going to do next is the construction of this gutter construction of this gutter to this side so if you select this pillars and then right click edit selected composite on this window you see that our um, pair lines are accommodating the gutter we have a different materials of uh, fields here this represent the the insulation 
of our gutter and then we have the main gutter itself which is a different material stainless steel and then you can have variation of uh, color pens or contour pens for these components so yeah and then what i'm going to do i'm going to select this and then mirror a copy to this side to place it but make sure you have this as your your center line of mirroring so what i'll do let's come this side and clean up maybe let's delete this member then select that order then hit Control m in the keyboard then i'll mirror a copy to that side perfect then i'll save if you check on the 3d the changes are being updated perfectly that's the thing that i like about uh, using complex profile for this type of uh, modeling it will depend guys on the project uh, uh, type or the complexity of the project i don't think it, it's it's one size fits all uh, type of methodology um, i will be interested on your thoughts on how to approach your project model uh, go to comment section and give us your thoughts guys how you you attend this if you have, if, if i'm gonna use a series of objects to assemble this it means i'm gonna have individual pair lines going all the way like that and it will be tedious for me to handle or to manage that same applies to this if i can have different members to assemble this portal frame the information will be immense and the polygons data of the project file to increase and then ultimately the project will start um, slowing up and crashing so sometimes we need to choose the right methods for uh, approaching our projects the thinking long term let's close this window the next i'm gonna place the membrane on top of this pellets if you see on this side this is what i've uh, i've done i've used the roofs um, tool to come up with this membrane and then i've changed the thickness of if you check the thickness of the the profile of this roof to accommodate the size of that membrane and then change the material to insulation so yeah what i'm going to do i'm going to mirror this to the side go to the ground plane and then if you are having a situation where objects are on top of each other the selection is going to be tedious so the tricky part of it to do it is to hover you make sure the this part here yeah, quick selection is active then just put your mouse or your cursor on top of the objects then hit tab in the in the keyboard if you hit tab just like this it will select all objects it will go through the list of all objects that are under one another just like that for example this one I, this is what i want i'll hit Control shift m on the keyboard so that i use this point to mirror a copy to this side check on the 3d this is what i want perfect and then I've used a profile for sheeting. I also I also do the same thing. Now tap, tap, tap to pick the object that I want. And then mirror. Oh, sorry. Mirror a copy to that side. Check on the 3D. This is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I want. So yeah, this is the seamless um, gutter, guys. A hidden gut. So let us apply or put in the cladding on this side. So I'm gonna use the same cladding uh, material or object. Go to ground. Then, having been selected, I'll Control Shift D to to copy or to move a copy or place it there. And then if I check the settings and then change the pitch or the angle to 
90 degrees then check on the 3d select it change the base offset from the the home story to zero there we go then zoom in so that click on this point then stretch it stretch it to there make sure it's perfectly it's super done perfect this is a hidden gutter if you are from this view that's what you get that's what you see you, you're not able to see the the gutter if you check on the elevations um, hang on this is what you get is the seamless continuation of the cladding from the roof to that okay another item that i wanted to share with you is the at the back here where you are having a situation like this so here we're gonna have maybe a down pipe that will carry the water from this gutter down to the to the ground level but I've used the same profile I and mean the same um, object profile to create this and then if we check here to have this type of uh, shape I used um, let's cancel this solid element operation this is what you get initially if you placed the thing, but you need to trim off the end so I can nowadays use this complex profile I mean uh, solid element operations in any object so that is the that is the key thing I'll give credit to Akiket for that so what I'll do I had a layer that is hidden which is this activate it this layer takes the profile of the elevation this side and then also accommodating the gutter here and then I'm going to use this to trim off or to trim the ends of our our cladding so if you right click and then go to connect solid element operations then the target will be selected let's pick the operator under operation let's use subtraction with upward extrusion then execute go back to layer settings and then switch it off our hidden layer pretty simple just like that and then you have this effect nice cleaned um, your ends nice clean detail okay um thank you guys for watching um if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell we for more updates because we make videos almost every day or maybe three times a week so yeah if give us your thoughts about this video um go to the comment section and uh, uh any questions that may or query guys that you want us to clarify let let us know i'll see you in the next video bye cheers